Hi friends, I'm Becca Werwell, author of the Road Trip Rescue series of faith-filled contemporary adventures for middle grade readers. And today I am here to celebrate middle grade March with you and to share 10 of my favorite middle grade books from my bookshelf, which I'll show you right here. Before we get into that, a little bit about middle grade because it's middle grade March. And admittedly, it is over halfway through March as I am finally getting a chance to record this. I did intend to record the video much earlier in the month because I love that the month of March can be dedicated to sharing and talking about these stories but it just got away from me. So I apologize for how late I'm getting this video out. But middle grade books are written for kids ages about eight to 12. So a lot of people hear middle grade and they think, well, those are books for middle schoolers. And that's sometimes the case, but not necessarily. Because eight to 12 actually takes us from about grades three through seven. And so that's part of elementary school in addition to middle school. But then beyond that, there are also kids who are younger than eight who might also enjoy middle grade. Maybe a parent is reading it out loud as a family read aloud, or maybe they're listening to it at school as a classroom read aloud. And then also people older than 12 enjoy middle grade. I can attest to this. I have loved middle grade for a very long time. These aren't in any particular order other than the author's last name. They're alphabetical because I couldn't pick favorites. It's just so difficult. Even picking 10 books off my shelf was too hard. And I know there are still books on my shelf that I had to leave behind for the sake of getting this video done that I would have loved to share as well. Many of them are faith-based or have really great values. These are clean books that come in a variety of different genres depending on what you are interested in. The first book that I have to share with you today is The Penderwicks by Jeannie Birdsall. The Penderwicks is a heartwarming sister story, and I definitely have a soft spot for sister stories and sibling stories of any kind where we get to see their different personalities, how they respond differently to different situations, how they interact with each other and help each other. So I loved that dynamic. And this is a series. This is the first book in the series, and I definitely recommend it as a family read aloud and a great book to read over the summer since this one does take place in the summer, but a great contemporary tale. The next book I have is Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate DiCamillo. And this book you might have heard me talk about before because this was my absolute favorite when I was younger. I loved this book. I still love it now. It's the story of a girl who meets this dog actually in a grocery store and because of the dog ends up meeting all these different people. There are lots of interesting characters. So another great realistic contemporary tale, very heartwarming, great dog story. I always love a dog story as you can probably tell from Road Trip Rescue. The third book I have is Goldwater Ridge by Hannah Kay. This is the first book in the Sadie and Clyde adventure series, and these are Western adventures. They are so much fun, and Sadie and Clyde are hilarious. There's some great dialogue. It's laugh out loud fun, a little longer than some middle grade books. This is a great one to get into and to enjoy with your family. The next book I have is Beneath the Swirling Sky by Carolyn Leigh Loglu, and this was one of my favorite new books last year. It's one that released very around the same time as Road Trip Rescue, I think maybe, maybe right before, but Carolyn actually was one of the authors who endorsed Road Trip Rescue, and something fun is recently they were both announced as finalists for the Sela Awards in the middle grade category. This is a fantasy adventure. They travel through paintings. And so there's lots of suspense, very high stakes, definitely lots of cliffhangers that keep you reading and moving through the pages. Next, this book probably looks familiar to a lot of you, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. This is middle grade, but a great read for all ages and really a classic it's a portal fantasy where they travel to the land of Narnia. This is the second book in the series. It's my favorite, though I do love all of the Chronicles of Narnia books. And I love the allegory, the Christian theme. So definitely, if you haven't read this one yet, it's a great one. And I also love this one as a read aloud with 
kids that are even younger than eight, if they're ready to kind of talk about some of these themes and to see how they can compare it to the real world and to their own lives. The next book is Wonder by R.J. Palacio, and I might have mispronounced that name, so I'm sorry for any names that I am pronouncing wrong, but Wonder is another of my absolute favorite middle grade reads. I also really enjoyed the movie. Wonder is a great book that reminds us that everyone has something about them that is different, and it helps us think about how we treat others and how we respond to others, and that everyone has a story. I love how there are different perspectives in here that it's not just all from Augie's point of view. Augie is the main character, but we get to also see from his sister's point of view and from a friend's point of view, some of his friend's point of view, and just different perspectives that you wouldn't normally consider. And that is contemporary and realistic fiction. Next, I have Jack Zulu and the Waylander's Key by S.D. Smith and J.C. Smith. This is a newer book that I recently had the chance to read. It is Portal Fantasy. So the characters enter a new world through a portal in the forest. And it's got a lot of adventure, as you can see from even the cover shows a lot of adventure. One thing I really love about this story is the way it goes back and forth between the real world where the characters are and then this new fantasy world. I love to see that dynamic and the contrast and how the characters are handling situations in both places. So very fun first book in the series. I don't think the next book is released yet, but definitely a fun time to get started. The Mystery of the Radcliffe Riddle by Taryn Suters. This is another book that was also named as a Sela Awards finalist for the middle grade category. And Taryn also endorsed Road Trip Rescue. So lots of fun connections here among the different middle grade books and authors. But as you can see from the title and the cover, this is a mystery book. So if you love mysteries, this is one you might want to look out for. Very intriguing premise and definitely keeps you turning the pages to find out what's going to happen next. Next, I have Please Return to the Lands of Luxury by John Tilton. This is the first book in the Lands of Luxury series. It's the only book out yet, but again, it's always great to start reading a series so you can get excited and wait for the next one to come out. This is like a dystopian, so it takes place in a world that's a lot different than our own world, and we get to kind of imagine things, what things could be like in the future, and it is has a lot of heartwarming themes while also having a lot of action and adventure. So a lot of fun in that story. And then book number 10 is Power Pup number one. So it's Power Pup versus Tommy Triggerfinger by Amanda Trumpower. And the Power Pup series are superhero Christian adventures within an anthropomorphic universe, the Collar Cases universe. And each story brings a new superhero adventure, um, a face-off, a solving of a problem, and so lots of adventure and humor. Amanda's stories are really funny. They always make me laugh, and so if you love humor, and these books are also great for um, different age groups. You can see the text is a little bigger in this book, so nice and easy to read, which is great too. That is 10 books from my bookshelf, 10 middle grade books. Let's see if I can lift them up without dropping them all off here. So I definitely recommend these books. If one of them catches your eye, you can find them online where books are sold. And as a little bonus, I have book number 11 here. This is also on my bookshelf, Road Trip Rescue. Book one in my Road Trip Rescue series. Books two and three aren't out yet, but book two is pre-releasing through Kickstarter in April. Sign up for my email newsletter if you want to be the first to know as things are coming out and to hear progress on the next books. But this book here is actually the special edition hardcover. So you can see there's a dust jacket and there is foil stamping here underneath the dust jacket on the back and on the front, there's a dog and silver foil stamp. So those special editions aren't available on retailers. They are only available through the Kickstarter campaign. So like I said, follow my email newsletter if you want to hear more about those. Uh, road Trip Rescue is the story of a girl named Kimmy who goes on a road trip with her aunt Skylar to find her missing dog, Bo. So had to add that, sneak that in there to my pile. But I hope 
with all of those different genres, we had some realistic stories, we had some fantasy, some portal fantasy, mystery. Hopefully there was something there that interested you and that can get you started on your next reading adventure. Happy reading, friends.